A unanimous decision from the Supreme Court keeps the abortion drug Mifepristone available for women to use under current FDA guidelines. The court rejecting a legal challenge to the FDA's regulation around the abortion pill. Justice Brett Kavanaugh with the opinion of the court, writing, the federal courts are the wrong form for addressing the plaintiff's concerns about FDA's actions. And so I do think that the FDA and the drug industry in general, um, and you know, pregnant women who wish to terminate early pregnancies are all breathing a sigh of relief today. Legal experts say this is the first time courts have been asked to second-guess FDA guidelines for using a drug safely. Mifepristone was approved nearly 25 years ago. The FDA easing access to the pill years later, allowing it to be used up to 10 weeks of pregnancy instead of seven, and allowing it to be prescribed by mail. The FDA was then sued by Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, an anti-abortion rights group, accusing the FDA of unlawfully easing restrictions and failing to study the dangers. Without question, the FDA's actions have made taking chemical abortion drugs less safe. Lawyers for the group claim doctors saw an increase in emergency room visits for women who took mifepristone. The drug has been used safely by millions of women for decades, with the FDA saying serious side effects are exceedingly rare. They fail to show under any rational legal standard why they have standing to bring this suit. A spokeswoman for the group that brought the case says in a statement, it's deeply disappointing and it's a sad day for all who value women's health and unborn children's lives. And a spokeswoman for Danco, the maker of Mifepristone, says they are pleased with the Supreme Court's decision, saying they are committed to bringing safe and effective products to public health. Perry Russell, ABC News at the Supreme Court.